Hello everybody and welcome to our latest major update video for Moonlit Dungeon. Moonlit Dungeon, or MLD, is a colossal overhaul mod coming for Darkest Dungeon, being developed by a huge number of talented individuals in the modding community and led by Claire DeLoon. My name is Element5, and in our last video, we previewed a bunch of the exciting features coming in MLD, including the addition of an entirely new endgame dungeon with its own enemies, bosses, curios, etc., new custom enemies added to all major areas, an expanded affix system, reworked provisions, rebalances, armor types, town events, story quests, a raised level cap, etc. There is so much coming in MLD, and we got to touch on a bunch of that last time, uh, now catching up in this update as we approach the end of February 2019, there have been some huge developments in the Darkest Dungeon community uh, in the past couple months, most notably of course, Red Hook's official announcement of a Darkest Dungeon sequel, and we'll talk more about that and what that means for MLD moving forward, but before we do, let's talk about some of the major developments here for MLD in the last couple months and some of the things that have been released, beginning with the MLD Ruins Enemy Pack. In our last video, we got to take a sneak peek of some of the custom enemies coming for MLD, including the Bone Bishop. Well, the Bone Bishop no longer a work in progress, officially a champion only, size 2 enemy, which plays from all ranks, dishes out powerful buffs and debuffs, using lifesteal mechanics to take health from your heroes and transfer it to fellow enemies. So let's take a look at some of the other included enemies you'll fight in the Ruins Pack such as the Bone Banshee. The Bone Banshee is a stress slash horror focused enemy, which fights from all ranks, is accessible in all difficulty levels, gradually increases all stress and horror done to your party, and if she's at low health after round three, will suicide, inflicting painful horror to all of your party members. Also included in the Ruins enemy pack is the Animated Armor. The animated armor is a frontline enemy appearing on all difficulty levels, has a permanent repost, does weak damage initially, but ramps its damage with each attack and throughout combat. You'll also be seeing the Morning Seraph. The Morning Seraph is an extremely high damage enemy in the Veteran and Champion Ruins, which spawns in all ranks and while it generates 2-3 to three actions per round, loses an action point when hit in combat, punishing players who don't make it a priority. And the fifth and final enemy in the MLD Ruins pack is the Golem. A new size 2 enemy accessible in Veteran and Champion Ruins, which gains prot bonuses when hit, obtains reflection mechanics when the shield is out, and adapts its own weaponry depending on various factors throughout the fight. All of these are playable right now as a standalone mod pack on Steam, link below the video, but they'll also be fully integrated into the full release of MLD, with better integrated AI, spawn triggers, mashes, affixes, and all the fun stuff planned with Moonlit Dungeon. Well, in addition to the release of the MLD Ruins pack, we also got to see the community come together for Red Hook's official mini-boss mod contest, which just came to a conclusion last week and resulted in seven brand new fully playable mini boss mods on the Steam Workshop. Most importantly though, the contest came right on the onset of two huge announcements for Darkest Dungeon, including of course the development of a DD2, a Darkest Dungeon sequel, but also very importantly, the increase in optimization and mod resource allocation in the latest build of the game. So what's the significance of optimization, you might ask? Well, if you've dipped a toe into modded content for Darkest Dungeon, you may have experienced the odd white square or sudden crash to desktop when trying to load a save file containing certain mods. Now this has typically been due to the fact that Darkest Dungeon just wasn't ever optimized for the inclusion of large content mods or large mod lists. Now this presents a huge problem for projects and overhauls like Moonlit Dungeon but also enemy-oriented mods which included a lot of content, like Marvin Sayo's recent Falconer revamp, or standalone dungeons with unique enemies. 
So really, action needed to be taken in order for MLD to move forward, and thankfully the community really rallied behind the call for better optimization, and Red Hook listened, ensuring that we're going to see a tremendous increase in performance using modded content from now on. So with the mini boss contest come to a close, a call for better optimization answered, and Claire making it into her doctoral program. The ship is righted and development on MLD is running on all engines. And that means that we should see the upcoming development of some really exciting things like the Wield and Warren's enemy packs, the MLD provisions expansion pack, a bunch of necessary updates coming to older mods, and very excited to see the beta testing begin for the Silent class mod. And so with all that development underway, let's talk about the announcement of DD2 and what that means moving forward. If you haven't yet, I invite you to check out my recent video on the announcement itself and the kinds of things we might be able to expect to see out of a Darkest Dungeon sequel. But one of the most exciting and important aspects of a Darkest Dungeon 2 announcement is really the realization that we get to move forward now as an established modding community into a whole new era for DD. Years more content awaits us, and what began as a small server for modders looking to build a brand new overhaul for Darkest Dungeon, the MLD Discord is now the largest modding hub and community resource for DD with over 2,500 members already. With optimization and Darkest Dungeon 2 in the not too distant future, we'll not only see the completion of MLD and a ton of new mods for DD1 in the run up to DD2, but we'll also be able to hit the ground running now, creating custom content for a whole new Darkest Dungeon and more. But don't forget that we want your help. Quality content takes time, effort, and money to produce, and crowdfunding options for MLD are now live. The MLD Patreon launched last month, and supporters not only significantly aid production time and value, but will also be included in the credits for Claire's future projects, get access to exclusive previews and works in progress, weigh in on certain polls, and even obtain unique Discord roles on the MLD server. That does it for this major update video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and following along here with all the work that we're doing in the MLD community. Do make sure to subscribe to the channel for more updates in all things Darkest Dungeon. And remember that you can follow along on MLD's progress on Twitter, at Moonlit Dungeon, or with Claire's Tumblr blog, linked below the video. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.